Uh, hi everyone. Uh, in this question, we are asked to uh, find the current waveform if the voltage waveform of a capacitor 2 farad is given below here. And this type of problems, you have two different types or two different classes of problem. The first one, you are given the voltage of the capacitor and you want to find the current of the capacitor. The other one, which we'll see it later, you are given the waveform of the current and you want to find the, the voltage. This class of problem, I will call it, this is a derivative problem because your IC, the current in the capacitor, is equal to C dVc of dt. So whenever the problem is to find the derivative, we will have certain approach. And if the problem is an integration problem, then we will have a bit of a different approach. And it doesn't matter if the question was for a capacitor or an inductor. So for the inductor, the derivative relation is the voltage across the inductor is equal to L di L by dt. So if you are given the current in the inductor and you want to find the voltage, it is also a derivative problem. So if it's either capacitor or inductor, a derivative type problem, we will have certain approach and it doesn't matter what is the, the component. And we'll use this approach for, for both. Okay, so when we have this problem, we have a waveform, and this waveform is changing as per the time interval, so what we need to, to do. Now, this is a straight line. We know that the voltage of the capacitor will equal to the slope of the line plus B, B will represent the intersection of the line with the, with the y-axis. Now, what is our interest? Is it in VC or DVC? Actually, it is in DVC by DT, which is equal to, to M. So, if it is a derivative problem, our interest is only to find the derivative. I don't need to find the whole equation. And I can solve the problem just by finding the derivative or the slope of the line, because the derivative is basically the, the slope of the, of the line. Okay, so this is the most important or fundamental fact about this type of questions. Okay, so now I need to identify the different time intervals. What is the slope in these time intervals? and then find the current by multiplying the capacitance, which is two farad times that slope, as simple as that. Okay, so we'll start at T less than zero. So if it is less than zero, everything is zero. So the DVC by DT or the slope is equal to zero. So it means you, your IC is also equal to zero. Okay, now, we will have a function between 0 and 20 seconds. So at t less than 20 and greater than 0. Now, what is dvc by dt? Again, dvc by dt is what? Is the, is the slope. Okay, so we identify two points here. This point is basically 20 and 12, and this point is 0 and 0. So dvc by dt will be equal to 12 minus 0 divided by 20 minus 0. The difference of the y points by or uh, divided by the difference in the x. So this is 12 over 20 or equal to point, point 0.6. Okay, so this is point 0.6. So this means that your IC in this time interval would equal to C, which is 2 times 0.6 and this will give me 1.2 what is the unit this is dvc by dt it is actually this is voltage by per seconds and this is farad so this becomes in amps okay so we are done with this uh, period now at t 
less than 30 because now from 20 to 30 so less than 30 and greater than 20 we will have a different slope dvc by dt will equal to now this point is basically 30 and minus 12. so dvc by dt equal to 12 minus minus 12 divided by 20 minus 30. so this is equal to 24 divided by minus 10 or minus 2.4 so from this your ic would equal to what equal to two times this the capacitance c times minus 2.4 and give me this give me minus 4.8 unit amp so this is the third period now the fourth one t is between 50 and 30 we have a different function. So T less than 50 greater than 30. What is your DVC by DT? We need to identify this point, which is 50 and, and 0. So this will be equal to minus 12 minus 0 divided by 30 minus 50. So this is equal to minus 12 divided by minus 20 which is equal to 0.6 again. So from this, your IC will be exactly the same, 1.2 amp. Finally, for T greater than 50, this become back to zero. So it's same like at we started. So DVC by DT is equal to zero. So your IC is equal to zero. Now, if you are asked to find the current only, that will be sufficient. If you are asked to find the waveform itself, so you come and you will draw it here. So I will draw it underneath the, the voltage. So this is your Y axis, your X axis. So this is your 10, 20, 30, 40, and your your 50 so this is your ic of t and the unit is is amp so less than zero this is becomes let me use a, a different color so that that will be uh see something different here okay so this is zero okay now this is 10 same here so from 0 to 20 we will have 1.2 so this is let's say 1.2 like this and then from 20 to 30 you will have minus 4.8 so this is minus 1.2 minus 2.4 minus 3.6 minus 4.8 okay so this will go down here and minus 4.8 and finally, from 30 to 50, it goes back to the 1.2 and then to, to zero. So this is the current, the current waveform. Now, if the question was exactly uh, the same waveform, but it says here, find the current waveform of a two Henry inductor, so the voltage, the current wave form, this is the current wave form if a 200 inductor, find the voltage wave form, we, you will get exactly the same answer. The only difference, this will be changing to the voltage across the, across the inductor. So this class of problems is called a derivative type of problem. You don't need to worry about finding the exact equation. You're only interested to find the slope, and then from there you can you can proceed.